Good morning, Peter. And how are you today? Very well, thank you, Dad. So, Peter, what have you got lined up for today? Hmm? Oh, the best boys are coming over. We're going to have a sing-song practice ready for Monday. Miss Lovely's asked us to perform for the school board. Really? Peter, I'm so proud of you. That's wonderful. Henry's up. Yep, Henry's up. Or should I say Henry's down? <laughs> Dad, I need a mobile phone. Good morning, Henry. And how are you, Henry? And what are you planning to do today, Henry? Get a mobile phone. Henry, you're not getting a mobile phone. Why not? Everyone else has got one. Everyone else who? Well, now, let me see. There's Rude Ralph and Gorgeous Gorinda and Moody Margaret. Of course, old Bogey Brain's got three. And then there's Mischievous Mike. He's got one on his skateboard. And Pine Kelly. She lent me hers once. And, well, everyone, really. Like I said. Henry, you're not getting a mobile phone. Even Vicious Vicky's got one. Who's Vicious Vicky? Sour Susan's little sister. Sour Susan? I don't know where you get these ideas from. So, can I get one, Dad? <sighs> Morning, Henry. Morning, Mum. Can I get a mobile phone? Oh, I don't see why not. Yes! As long as you pay for it out of your pocket money. No! No! Don't be horrid, Henry. This is for you, Sugar Plum. It's from Great Aunt Greta, I think. Ooh, goody! She promised to send me the bumper edition of Number Gnomes Nonsense. It's on high def DVD with extra gnomey bits. <laughs> How exciting! Can I watch it with the best boys when they get here? Of course you can, Sweetie Pie. You can watch it while I'm getting my hair done. Oh, you really are my very best boy. Oh, that'll be the best boys now. Best boys always do their best. Best boys always. Oh, I so need a mobile phone. Dad, can I get a mobile phone today? No, Henry. This isn't going to be easy. Ready? Ready, ready! Yo, what's up, Doody Dude? Um, this isn't the bumper edition of Number Gnomes and Nonsense. No, Peter, it isn't. I'm the man, the man that can. And if your name is Sam, you the man that can. He's talking to you, Sam. I know! <laughs> Yo, your name is Gordon? You don't want to be rigid with boredom. <laughs> Listen up, Ted. Want to bounce on your bed? Peter, Peter, Peter. Could you be any neater? He's talking to us. He's talking to all of us. Who demand a can? because you'd be at school and mobile phones are not allowed at school. Oh, right. Well, then... Uh... Are you planning to do anything with that tea towel? Um, do you mean this thing? <sighs> yes, that's a tea towel, and you use it to do the drying up. Wasn't that what dishwashers do? Well, yes, but today we're doing it the old-fashioned way. You see, that's my point, Dad. In your day, in old-fashioned times, nobody had mobile phones. But nowadays, everyone has them. Henry, tea towel, 
now. Oh, right. If I do the drawing up for you, can I have a mobile phone? No! No, we demand, we demand, we demand that crown. And we say yo, we say yo to go. Ain't nobody and nothing gonna tell us no. Cos we demand, we demand that crown. What's the problem, Dad? What's the problem, Henry? Well, you just don't understand the youth of today. I have no idea what you're talking about, Henry, but you're still not getting a mobile phone. No, no, I'm not talking about a mobile phone anymore. I'm talking about how it was in your day. Huh? How it was in my day? Yeah, because you didn't have mobile phones. You had to wait to talk to each other, right? <laughs> Too right we did. And if we couldn't wait, we called each other up on the telephone, and if it was engaged, we had to wait a bit and then we'd call again. Really? So you didn't have caller ID then? Caller ID? What's caller ID? Well, caller ID is... Like the number knows. So, caller ID is when Dad, excuse me, worm, I'm talking. Dad, can I use Mum's mobile phone? Hmm? Uh, yes, of course you can, Peter. Just put it back in the phone. What? Thanks, Dad. Delivery from Pum and Peter. Pum and Peter? Peter, there's a delivery here for you. Ooh, that was quick. Yay! So, as I was saying... Ah. Oh, thank you, Henry. Caller ID means that if someone calls you and you're on the phone already... This up. It's fine, Dad. So, as well as not having caller ID, you didn't have texting either, did you? Well, no. Oops. Sorry, Henry. Oh, that's okay. I feel sorry for you, really. What do you mean? Well, no tweeting, or warbling, or kibbling. How do you know about all these things, Henry? Oh, oh I just do. So, what do you reckon? Can I get a mobile phone today? Well, um. That doesn't sound like the number gnomes. Number gnomes, number gnomes. The really important question is, can I have a mobile phone? Just a little one. Dad! with him. Behold, the king of blue! <gasps> Peter? Best boys are the man. Best boys are the man! The king of the blue! Best boys are the man! They just want to see! Best boys are the man! Put them to the test! Best boys are the man! The best of the best! Be the man! The king of the blue! you get this? Great Aunt Greta sent it to me. But it's for teenagers. Turn it off now. I can't. I'm having too much fun. <laughs> Turn it off now, Peter. No. DJ B says yo to no. No go. I... I never heard anything so ridiculous in my life. Yo, Dad. Chill. No, I will not chill. You're supposed to be practicing for the school board on Monday. And what's that you're wearing? It's a bling ring. Do you like it? A bling ring? Where did you get this stuff from anyway? Oh, from the DJB store. I ordered it on Mum's mobile phone. DJB showed me how to. You used Mum's mobile phone? You said I could. <laughs> Right, that's it, Peter. No TV for a whole week. <laughs> Dad, about my mobile phone. N O spells no, Henry. Thanks, worm. I did say it 
wouldn't be easy. Uh, I could do without the caller ID. Slap me cheeks and call me Trevor. I've just found out there's more Horrid Henry next. I've been this excited since a cat got a job at the supermarket. He does a beep noise on the checkout. Beep! 